The title of this podcast is Winter's Criteria of Rigor, and it is presented in the context of validation of research and specifically with respect to validation in action research contexts. The validation process is necessary to ensure that the claims that are made are well-founded on established principles and that the process used to critique the claims is systematic and rigorous. In the context of action research, where the researcher is immersed as a co-practitioner, there is a heightened need to ensure that the research is carried out rigorously. In 1989, Richard Winter wrote a book entitled Learning from Experience, Principles and Practice in Action Research. In the book, he gives a comprehensive overview of action research, including a detailed treatment on its research validation techniques. The first of Winter's six validation criteria is called reflexive critique. This is a two-way ongoing dialogue between the researcher practitioner and a concern inquiry. It also requires that practitioners are aware of the subjective nature of assumptions and interpretations upon which their judgments are made. The second criteria is called dialectic critique, and this recognizes that contradictions may exist between one's own values and one's practice. The researcher tries to understand and resolve these conflicts through reflection and discussion. Winter's third criteria is called collaborative resource, and this recognizes that collaboration with others is central to the research inquiry process. It is accepted that all participants are co-researchers in the process, and all are encouraged to contribute to improving practice. The fourth validation criteria is risk, and states that any creative process trying to improve a situation or challenge the status quo involves taking risks. Also, addressing the weaknesses in one's own practices involves associated risks of failure and criticism. The fifth criteria is plural structure, in that the research outputs should reflect the viewpoints of the various parties involved in the research process. The final criteria is called theory-practice transformation and illustrates the links between theory and practice and how it can lead to transformation of practice. In summary then, Winter's six criteria of rigour combine to form a coherent set of well-established principles that ensure that the action research process is valid and rigorous. The criteria support a growing body of credible knowledge coming from practitioner researchers involved in action research.